into our readathon wrap up celebration. We are overwhelmed with gratitude for all of your support during this time. Our team was blown away by your enthusiasm and generosity to support our first ever readathon fundraiser. We have had 72 unique fundraisers and nearly 250 individual donations come through during this time. Your enthusiasm and generosity got us through our initial goal of $20,000 so quickly that we were challenged to stretch that to 30,000 and guess what, we've done it. From the bottom of all of our hearts here at IEA, thank you so much. It's time to celebrate. I have a special thank you to those who participated in any of our events throughout the readathon. We had our virtual trivia competition a few weeks ago in which uh, my team, Team Perseverance, took home the victory by showing off their literary knowledge. So great job to my team for being uh, strong readers and retaining all of that knowledge of the books that they've read. We also had our pie challenge in which we were challenged by Betsy to raise $3,141 in 3.141 days. And if we did that, your team leaders or a team representative would get pied in the face. You all came through in a huge way. And so we did end up getting pied in the face. So thank you so much for your generosity and for uh, crushing that goal, raising so much money and being so creative with your fundraising that uh, we got to do that and we got to have a great time pieing one another. Let's take a look at the clips one more time. Let's go Team Integrity! One, two, three, four. Perseverance. <laughs> Team Creativity, I'm new to IEA, but I'm happy to take this pie for you. One, two, three. <laughs> well done! Creativity! What's up? everyone this is colin from team passion and i wanted to congratulate my team on achieving their goal here comes colin and parents we wouldn't be able to carry out this successful readathon without you thank you for helping your child to reach their fundraising goals. We know that 2020 hasn't been easy and we want you to know that we are here for you too. In addition to the reading list we have for our young readers, we also have a few for our parents, including one by the award-winning author, Dr. Christine Fonseca, The Caring Child, Raising Empathetic and Emotionally Intelligent Children. We're especially grateful that Dr. Fonseca gave a talk on her book. And during her talk, a parent asked, how to be emotionally present with our children when we are so tapped out? And here's her response. You need to think of it just like they say on the airplane, right? When if oxygen is needed on an airplane, put your mask on first before you put the mask on your child. This is so you actually are functional and able to put the mask on your child. Self-care works very much like an oxygen mask. We have to take care of ourselves first. Sometimes this means something as simple as going into the bathroom locking the door, ignoring the chaos on the other side of that door and taking, you know, two minutes to calm your breathing down and to regulate your own kind of um, mental emotions right in that moment. Sometimes that's all that you're going to get right then. And then you're going to have to do something a little later, but don't be afraid to ask for that. And then you have to come up with a longer term solution for your own self-care. So what is it that makes you really happy? And when was the last time you did it? Find time to do those things. You are no good to your children if you cannot be emotionally present. I've recently been reading the extremely underrated and extremely good series, Randy Rhodes, Ninja Detective. 
I decided to support IEA because of their marvelous Camp Unasa and other resources, which I know that they will help gifted kids. And so I participated in the readathon to help people gather funds towards an organization which I know will make a change. Thank you so much, Nathaniel, for sharing your IEA readathon experience. We hope that you had as much fun as we have. We are overjoyed with everyone's participation over the past three weeks in our readathon. I know that I had a lot of fun, and getting a pie in the face wasn't even that bad. While I'm excited and proud of all of the teams that, and participants, I'm especially proud of the team that I captained, Team Integrity. Team Integrity, I am happy to announce that you are the top fundraising team. Way to go. In these challenging times, we at IEA understand how important it is to support our local businesses. And with that in mind, we will be, each of our top finishers will be receiving a gift card to not only a Southern California institution and worldwide web institution as well. And that's a Roman's bookstore. The first place will be receiving $100, second place $75, and third place $50. As well, each of our top fundraisers will be receiving an IEA swag bag. As of right now, our top three finishers are, in first place, Hugo, in second place, Stella, and in third place, Mia. Way to go. In addition, the top fundraisers for each team who are not in the top three overall will be receiving an IEA swag bag. Again, we want to thank everyone for participating in our very first ever readathon, and we hope that you were you were able to read some interesting and fun books. Thank you. In the belt and hold the right side and put on the hatchet and reset the belt. Ready. Good morning. Thank you to you all. I'm Betsy Jones and I'm president and founder of the Institute for Educational Advancement. You've heard from our amazing staff and our team, our community, as we wrap up at this virtual fundraiser. This is something we could not have imagined doing eight months ago, but here we are. Wow, I'm so humbled and grateful. You can see why I love my job and the people that we work with. Such an amazing community. We did it. We did it. We raised our stretch goal of $30,000, which unlocks our matching gift. We couldn't be more grateful. But please realize that we're not closing the gates on this until midnight tonight. So every gift you make still has a huge impact on our population. Not to mention each team, the team of your choice, still has a chance to win by midnight. So keep those gifts coming. As we're doing this, we could not have possibly accomplished our goal without our sponsors. To them, we send such thanks. Duggan and Duggan, registered patent attorneys, Klemke Stern, accounting firm, the IEA board of directors, Dennis and Nancy Fetterman, and our lead sponsor, the KIPP SoCal Public Schools. They are truly heroes. This readathon has been such an exciting ride for all of us. Our team has come together as we anxiously and impressively watch our temperature rise with the funds that are raised. It's amazing that we surpassed our goal. We did this by watching our literary trivia contest. We dressed up as book characters for a contest. We had authors speak to us to really help parents understand the needs of this population. And the all important pie contest. Wow, who knew how much fun that would be? But what's most important is you. Each one of you are the reason why we were able to accomplish this amazing feat. You are the ones that are really behind this success. Thank you. There really isn't enough words to explain how grateful we are and how much impact this is going to have on the students that we serve. We're committed to serving all aspects of self with each child that comes into our realms and our doors. We do that through Academy, through CDB, through UNASA, 
through spyglass. We do it by talking to families and parents and children every day. And we do it because of you. And again, you are the heroes of today. So I say to Team Creativity, Integrity, Passion, and Perseverance, look what you've accomplished. There's still a little more competition to go, but look what you've done. Yay, teams! So impressive. And to the staff at IEA, this is a family that could not be closer and more committed to serving the needs of gifted children. You are amazing young people, and I'm proud to be a part of this team. Thank you so much to all of you. We wish you health, happiness, and peace.